they said he didn't stand a chance in hell. But Captain Imran and his team did the impossible. That's up in the air, he's getting under it. This could be victory, it is. Pakistan win the World Cup. A magnificent performance in front of 87,000 to victory. What a great victory. They said a state-of-the-art cancer hospital in Pakistan? Where will the funding come from? But the response to the masses of Pakistan was overwhelming. अगर आपने देखा कि उसने फटे हुए कपड़े पहने हैं, अगर आपने देखा कि उसको अंग्रेजी नहीं बोलनी आती, आपसे इसकी फिक्र नहीं करनी, आपने ये देखना है कि एक इंसान आया हॉस्पिटल के अंदर। The impossible became a reality in 1995, and since then, 80,000 cancer patients have received free treatment. Today, Pakistan's progress is marred by numerous problems, from natural disasters to man-made extremism, poverty, ill health, and the list is long. But the one issue that compounds the miseries of the poor is without doubt illiteracy. And perhaps the only thing that can change the fate of Pakistan and lead it towards prosperity is education. Captain Imran once again took the field. The establishment of a college in 2008 in one of the remotest areas of Pakistan became the beginning of a broader vision to create the largest knowledge city of Pakistan. I think it's a big step forward towards the development and the progress of Mia Valley of uh, this area. This is uh, considered to be a beautiful area with a lake, Nama Lake. And I think it's a big thing it's totally opposite of what I used to live in Karachi. It's, it's peaceful, it's quite uh, an excellent environment to study. Within the span of just three years, Namal has gained such a reputation that this year, 1,400 applicants applied. Uh, I came to Namal just to get a higher education by low cost. And by low cost mean, by mean of scholarship that are provided to the Financial needy students and the intelligent students. This was my dream that I would become an engineer. We are not financially so strong. I applied in NAMAL as a financial assistant. They gave me a scholarship. In this time of war, in my home time, town like Waziristan, I am very lucky to get free education from NAMAL College. I am very thankful to this organization. Today, more than 250 students from 40 cities of Pakistan are realizing their dream of a better tomorrow. Equipped with the latest educational facilities and highly motivated staff underpin the culture of close academic supervision and careful personal support for all students. I belong to the adjacent areas and uh, I'm very much uh, uh, worried about uh, the, the poor situation of these areas. That's why I wanted to contribute in some way uh, into the development of these areas. Affiliated to one of the leading UK universities, Namal is unique in that its students study locally and obtain a reputed foreign degree from the University of Bradford. And so we are following all of the UK quality assurance um, frameworks. So the degrees that are delivered here um, at Namal College are the exact same degrees delivered at the University of Bradford. It isn't just about a, a teaching university. Uh, I think if one goes back there in 10 or 15 years' time, you would want to see a science park, you would want to see a lot of innovation activity, you would want a close connection between Namal College and the business community, you would want students creating business, a demand for really good entrepreneurial skilled students, a wide curriculum, at the moment it's primarily around informatics, we want engineering, we want the creative industries, we want applied social science, management. So I think it's a very ambitious plan. It's uh, Imran's vision is of a sort of knowledge city, and I think that's achievable. First time a private sector university has gone into the rural areas. For the first time, uh, underprivileged background students uh, are going to be given a foreign degree, a degree from Bradford University, a degree that would cost them a minimum of 10 million rupees if they had to go to Bradford to get it. The same degree will be given in Namal 
for 1 million rupees. And then 90% of the uh, students are subsidized or are supported. If we can convert and give an opportunity to our younger generation in the rural area to add value to themselves and become very useful citizens of our country, I think Namal will have achieved his objectives. Namal is a hope for those underprivileged students who have a tremendous desire to learn. Students who want to transform their lives and will ultimately contribute to the betterment of Pakistan and its people. Namal College is the first milestone achieved and Imran Khan's dream of the largest knowledge city of Pakistan is not far away. We are standing at the beginning of the future and the future is green. Namal College should become the flag bearer in Pakistan of state sustainable development. It's going to be done on the basis of using indigenous materials. Uh, we are going to have renewable energy and recycled waste. And the whole concept of the design of the city is based on the green gardens that the Mughals had envisaged and developed all over the subcontinent. Imran Khan gave us a vision. Let's own this vision and make it a reality. Because the greater we contribute, the greater is the outcome. After all, you will be contributing for a better world. A world where every youngster will have the opportunity to contribute towards a better Pakistan and a better tomorrow. To make this dream come true, I need your help. I need the help of people of Pakistan just as they helped me in building Shaukat Hanam Cancer Hospital. Countries are built on knowledge cities. Knowledge cities provide the intellectual and technical base for a country to become a developed country. For Pakistan to fulfill its potential, this project must succeed and I want your help.